Hey, and welcome to the end of this series. This is a little sad that we're here, but we're at the end. And I just want to cover making a really basic layout. And here we have a very basic layout. This is what we're going to be building together. A nice big header area, a main content area with a sidebar and a footer down at the bottom. Looks simple, but if you can do this, you can build. Uh, this is the real foundational skills of making really nice websites. <laughs> So uh, I'm really doing this one from scratch. So the first thing I need to do is make a new folder on my desktop and I'm going to call this my first, oops, my first layout. And then I'm going to right click on there and choose open with Atom, which is the code editor that I've been using for this whole series. Now I don't have much of a layout, but whenever I am doing layouts, I like having the visual here while I'm working. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to keep this on the side for the beginning part here. So I just hit a control or command N to make a new file, or of course you can use your file new file. And I'm right away going to save that because I want to tell Adam this is an HTML file. And I'm inside my first layout, the home page, which will be the only page in this demo, but will be my index.html. And now I'm ready to start writing something. So the first thing we always need to do is declare the doc type doc type HTML and so we're telling the browser that we have an HTML file and then we have to open our HTML tag and close our HTML tag to tell the browser that we're, this is where our HTML is. Next we need two other tags. We need a head, close head, and I need my body, close body. So I have my doc type then I have my HTML tags. Inside of there, I have an open head, close head, and I have my body, close body. So if you remember from earlier on, our head is where we put the extra information, and the body is where we put the content that we'll actually be seeing on the screen. So I'm first going to come into my head here, and we're going to give this uh, the meta tag for our car set, which is one of the important ones and pretty much everyone will always just be using UTF-8. Uh, we're going to look at another meta tag that I haven't looked at that's fun. Uh, we're going to do meta name is author and content is Kevin. What this is, um, it's letting people know who the author of the, the site is. So uh, you just put what your name is the content. So the name of this meta tag is author. So we're letting it know it's an author tag. And I'm putting the content as Kevin. So the author is Kevin, which is me. And uh, the next one is something we have seen before. Close title. My first layout. Great, so I'm going to save that, and while we're here, we might as well open this up in the browser. So let's just move this over so we can see what we're doing at the same time. And I like setting this up so it takes up about half my window, and this on the other half. And there we go, I have a blank layout, but we can see that the title is working. So the next thing I want to do, uh, we want to come into our body and we want to start putting some content in there. So we might as well jump down here and come and uh, we're going to do three different parts to this or four. We're going to start with our header and close header. And while I'm doing this, I might as well pull this up. So my header is this big thing here and it's a tag we haven't looked at. It works a lot like a div would. Uh, it's exactly like a div except it actually means something. A div is an abstract box. In this case, it's not an abstract box. It's the header of my site. It's where things like your logo and your navigation go. So we have our header. Then we have this area down here that has this area plus a sidebar over here. So we're going to start by doing a div class here and close. And this is my container. So my container will hold everything right in the middle of the screen. It's going to hold these things in place so they're not touching the sides. And inside there I have two things. I have a section, close section, and I have an aside 
and close aside. So a section is sort of what the name implies. It's a section of my website and the aside is like a sidebar. So a couple new tags, but uh, again, these just like the header, they work just like a div. It's a box that's just holding there to hold some content, but it's letting the website know a little bit more uh, the website. It's letting the browser know a little bit more information about what its purpose is. And then down at the bottom, we will have our footer. Close footer. And that's about it as far as actually putting in the tags. Now we just have to actually have some content that we're going to put in here. So I'm going to start by getting rid of this. So we just have our blank page there. Uh, so if I save this and refresh, nothing actually changes. All of this is in place, but without any content in there, we don't see anything quite yet. So in my header, let's come and just put the title of my website, h1, my first website, close h1. And let's refresh, hey, then there we go, awesome. So now let's come down to our section, and I'm just going to use some uh, filler text in my section here. We'll start off with a heading, so another h1, close h1, and then we'll do a paragraph, close paragraph, and another paragraph, close paragraph, just so we have some stuff that's in there. Uh, this is the main content area of this page. And here, uh, it's a bit long, let's put two short paragraphs in there. So this is just some lorem ipsum text, it doesn't actually mean anything at all. And re save, refresh, and there we go, I have my two paragraphs. And we'll jump down over to here. We have an aside, so I'll put an H2 inside my aside, along with, and let's go with an ordered list just for fun. So open ordered list, close ordered list, and in there, list item, close list item. And let's just do list item one. Again, it's just to fill this up. Why we'd have a list item in a sidebar, and you know, maybe you're linking to some websites you like. This is my sidebar. Awesome. And at the very end down here, inside my footer, I'll come down and just put a nice simple paragraph. Close paragraph, and we'll grab a little bit of filler text just to throw in there. And there we go, there's my footer. And as far as the actual HTML placing the content on the page, that's it. I'm gonna throw the CSS side of things in a separate video so that you should see that on the screen right now. You can click on that and uh, jump into the CSS. So I look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions about this whole section and header and aside and footer thing, leave it down in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the little thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one where we actually make this look like a real website.